Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the morning outlook with GDMFX. I'm Joseph Novich, senior analyst at the company. Uh, starting this morning with uh, the Japanese yen, it headed for a weekly decline against the dollar as easing geopolitical tensions in U uh, Ukraine and Iraq uh, damped investors' demand for haven assets. You know, the Japan's currency has fallen versus all of its uh, 31 major peers uh, this week before the uh, Russian president Vladimir Putin meets in Finnish, uh, his Finnish counterpart uh, in an effort to defuse tensions over Ukraine. Uh, the yen is traded versus the US dollar 0.1% down to uh, 102.54 dollars. Uh, now the uh, further decline is expected uh, to 102.78 later into the trading day. Going to Europe, uh, the euro may weaken uh, also to uh, an year low to 1.3 dollars per euro as uh, German bond yields yesterday dropped to a record uh, after the economy shrank at twice the, uh, the pace an uh, analysts forecasted. Data this month have shown euro area gross domestic products uh, stagnated last quarter as Germany's uh, shrank 0.2 percent and the investors confidence of course fell to the lowest level since 2012. Now the standoff between uh, Russia and the European Union over Ukraine is clouding the outlook for nation uh, as that uh, share the uh, euro and uh, weighing on efforts by the European Central Bank to jumpstart growth and of course raise the inflation. Uh, however, uh, going to uh, UK, the pound was a little changed this morning at 1.6686 dollars per pound after falling with 180 pips in yesterday's trading session to 1.6658 dollars per pound, uh, the lowest since April 8. Of course, this is on Bank of England's inflationary report we saw yesterday. Uh, the sterling depreciated against most of its uh, 16 peers as uh, Monetary Policy Committee member David Miles said uh, the bank could keep interest rates at record low levels for a bit longer. Uh, the uh, US dollar spot index uh, dropped as jobless claims uh, uh, yesterday climbed by 21,000 to 311,000 in the, in the period ended August 9. Uh, the highest in six weeks. That was, of course, a Labor Department's report showed today in Washington. Uh, turning our attention at the commodity sector, we see uh, that West Texas Intermediate heads for a four weekly drop. This is the longest losing since uh, November, as uh, all, all of that on speculations that crude supplies are rising as a global demand for oil. Uh, goes down. Now the, uh, we suspect that uh, West Texas Intermediates will probably fall in the next uh, week as stockpiles may rise further on. Uh, for today we remain bearish on oil uh, for the ultimate tar target at $93.85 per barrel. Uh, uh, taking a slight brief glance at gold, uh, not much of a change there. Uh, with an exception of just a few dollars gained uh, uh, yesterday with uh, the daily close slightly above uh, 1312. However, the metal is still trading within the same range and also uh, the easing demand hints to all traders to be very cautious while trading the precious metal. That was all for me from today. I wish you a successful trading day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.